Well, each day we learn more about COVID-19, and this past weekend we learned that tigers can test positive for the virus. When folks found out a tiger at the Bronx Zoo was infected with the coronavirus in a human to big cat transmission, we started getting a lot of questions from viewers about their own pets, some wondering if they can give the virus to their own furry family members. Well, vet surgical specialist Dr. Courtney Campbell from Vet Surge in Ventura is here now with the answer to these questions and more. And first of all, let me welcome you back, Dr. Courtney. It's always great to see you. Unfortunately, you can't be here in the studio with us, of course, because of social distancing, but it's always right. great to talk to you nonetheless. It's great to talk to you, too. Thank you for having me. This is a super important topic uh, that it's on the front of mind for so many people. Yeah, well, you know, Definitely one of the things that people want to know after this story broke about the Brooklyn Zoo tiger is, can we in fact give coronavirus to our pets? Listen, um, you know, as this pandemic continues to affect millions of people across the country, uh, that news about Nadia, the Malaysian tiger, testing positive, that affected so many households. And the main reason for that is because there's 96.5 million cats in the United States, just like Gordon here, who a lot of pet parents kind of look at their cats as like little 10 pound tigers crawling through the living room. So they want to know, can my cat contract the novel coronavirus? And the answer appears to be yes. Uh, although Nadia is unique in that she's the first US reported case or case reported in the United States, uh, there have been sporadic cases of this all throughout the globe. Just to catch people up, there's two cases in Hong Kong, both a Pomeranian and a German Shepherd, and then also two cats, one in Belgium and then a, sporad a smattering of cats throughout Hong Kong testing positive for the novel coronavirus. So the answer to that question is yes, and it does also appear to be that ferrets are equally as susceptible to novel coronavirus. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we know that the tigers uh, in New York actually, even though they developed coronavirus, or at least the one for sure we know tested uh, positive, and they thought perhaps some of the other tigers might have it as well, they all seem to be fine. It seems that they're going to recover just fine. Is that the case with, with the other pets that we know that have contracted coronavirus? And is that likely to be the case if they do get COVID-19? Yes, it does appear that dogs, it, it, just a, as, as, a, as an aside, dogs appear to become infected, but very few show any clinical signs that, or any symptoms. Cats as well, they appear that they can uh, become infected, but their symptoms, they appear to be uh, recover, they can recover from that. And so I think it's so important to emphasize, number one, uh, right now, according to what we're seeing, just the volume of uh, novel coronavirus cases in the United States among humans, we're only seeing spot up. So we're only seeing a few instances in pets. And then not only that, the symptoms have also appear to be really mild. And all the cats, fortunately for Nadia and all those other wildlife at the zoo, they are going to recover. That's what it appears to be right now. So that's really good news on their part. Now, here's, here's the flip side of that coin. You know, we know we could possibly transmit it to our pets. Could our pets transmit it to us or someone else? That's, that's really important to, to emphasize because, you know, what we're talking about is humans passing it on to cats. And this is a phenomenon called reverse zoonosis. And we've seen instances of this, uh, humans passing on a common cold to chimpanzees or humans passing on H1N1 to, or at least it was found originally in a human before passing on to pigs. And there's been situations and examples of reverse zoonosis all over the, the globe. So there's been no instances, at least as of yet, that any cats are passing it on to their pet parents or their humans or any people. So I think that's, that, that cannot be emphasized enough. I want to put exclamation points around that, that there just haven't been any cases of cats or dogs passing on novel coronavirus to people. So we should be fine with covering our, our pets uh, as, as long as we're not feeling any symptoms or in any danger, it seems of passing it on to our pets. Tony, you could still snuggle your cats. You know, because at the end of the day, if you are, um, if you are not, if you're not feeling sick, if you've had no exposure, if you don't, are you not afraid of novel coronavirus that you come in contact with it, then you can continue to have good close contact with your cats. Now, However, if you, yeah. if you are infected with novel coronavirus or if you had exposure, then I think it's really important that you distance yourself from your kitty cat or have someone else take care of your cat. And if that's not possible to take care of somebody else, take care of your cat, 
simply call your veterinarian or your local shelter to say, hey, are you equipped to handle uh, or help me with my cat who possibly was exposed to novel coronavirus? And I just want to make one more point. We've uh, run out of time here, and, and we can't really get into this in depth, but if you do have to contact your vet, be prepared to, uh, to go through different protocols than what you normally do. My vet, for instance, tells, uh, tells me that if I have to bring my pet in, someone will come to the car to get the pet, take the pet inside, examine the pet, and then bring the pet back out to me, and then I consult with the doctor by phone. So just be prepared to, to, uh, to face that if, in fact, you do need to, uh, to come in contact with your veterinarian. Dr. Courtney, thank you so much. Really appreciate uh, seeing you, as always, and uh, great information. Hope, Great to see you too, Tony. Thanks for having me. Hope the next time we see you can actually be in the studio. Thanks so much and stay safe so out too. there. All right.